In this NinjaTrader tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to set up a chart on NinjaTrader, how to customize it, and stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you a time-saving trick at the very end. Now, when you open up NinjaTrader at first, you might say, wow, what do we do here? All I see is this box. I don't see any charts anywhere where I input a ticker symbol and all that. Well, rest assured, it's not that difficult. And most of the people that are new to the NinjaTrader 8 platform, they normally come from a prop firm such as Apex. Speaking of Apex, if you wanna get the best deal on Apex, use my promo code listed below. But we come right over here to the new tab. Then what we wanna do is we wanna come right over here to where it says chart. Now, up here where it says instrument, let's say for the S&P 500, the ticker symbol is the ES. Now, if you right over here, you select futures, we can see the ES right here. If we click on that, that is gonna bring up the current contract. Now, in the futures market, we do have to roll over contracts. Now, what we wanna look at is price based on, we want it on last. Day type, in this example, we're gonna set this to a daily chart. Value of one, meaning that each candle is gonna represent one day. If I put this as a two, each candle would represent two days in time, but we're not gonna to try to overcomplicate this. Then we can, right here, days of load, we can select how many days we wanna load on the chart. Now, if you do wanna change the colors of the candles, you can come right over here where the down color candles are red, up color candles are lime green. Now, I'm gonna share with you guys one of the things I do once I get my charts loaded. So let's go ahead and we're gonna click OK. Now, that's gonna bring up a chart that looks just like this. However, there are a few problems with this chart. If you don't like all these grid lines on your chart or if you don't like price so close to the right edge, I'm gonna share with you guys how we can fix that. Now, first thing we wanna do is just simply click on the chart somewhere in the middle, right click, and then we wanna go down here to properties. Now, when we come over to properties, this is where we can set the background color. So for instance, if you wanna set this to white, right over here where it says background white, woo, that's a little bit bright out there. Let me go ahead and set that to black. That was just overpowering. Now what we can do, we can go right down here. You can see where it says lines. When you scroll down here, right? Crosshair, meaning the crosshair on the cursor, we can change that. But if we look at the horizontal and the vertical grid lines, one, if you don't want them on your chart, you can just uncheck whichever one or both that you don't want in your chart, and it gets rid of the grid lines completely. However, if you are if you are a person that likes grid lines, but you don't like them that bright, one of the things we can do is we can look for a bit of a, of a darker color. Maybe we'll go down here to dim gray. We'll set that to dim gray, and then we'll scroll right up here, and we'll set that to dim gray as well. Now, you still got grid lines, but they're not as overpowering. Now, we can also change this from a solid to a dashed line, and we're gonna do this on each of them. And now what you'll see is, the grid lines are still there, but they're not so overpowering. You can also put in a custom hexadecimal number as well. Now, if we wanna look at the right side margin on our chart, we need to come back over here to properties, and when we look right here, it says right side margin. Now, we can put this, let's say 500. 500 is gonna be a little bit too far. You can see how far away we are, but I just wanted to go ahead and exaggerate that. Now, on most of my charts, I have it set to 50, and then we can simply click OK, and we can see it gives me a little bit of margin between right over here on the right-hand side and where we currently are. Now, let's talk about how do we switch from a daily chart? There's actually three different ways that we can switch intervals on the chart. Now, the first one would be, we go ahead and right-click on the chart. We go over here to where it says data series. Now, in the data series tab, we can change this. Maybe we wanna to go to a minute chart, and then we wanna make this, we'll leave this at one. This will leave us with a one minute chart. We click apply. Now we are looking at a one minute chart. Now, once we have this up, you can also come over here to this drop down menu. And let's say we wanna to go to a five minute chart, select five minute. Now we're looking at a five minute chart. Now let's say for instance, you wanna come over here, so let's say a tick chart. We'll go over here and we'll say a 200 tick chart. Boom, now you're on a tick chart. Let's say that maybe you want a range chart. We'll go ahead and set this to a four. And now you have a four range chart. Now, one thing that you'll notice up here in this box is, what if there's a custom size that we just simply don't see up there? What if, for instance, you want a six minute chart? We come right over here to this tab where it says configure. Then right where it says minute, you wanna make sure this is highlighted. We're gonna click add, and then right here, we're just gonna put the number six, click okay. Now you'll see it'll be, it'll be all the way down here at the bottom. Now you don't want it to go one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 30, 66, all right? So what we can do is, once this is highlighted, we can click the up tab and just, you know, simply it'll shift it up. So now it's four, five, six, and it's not all the way down here at the bottom. Now, if you'd like to change the colors of the candles, and there's one thing that I definitely like to change, 
right click over here and we're going to go to data series now from right here let's say for instance you know we want to change if we look at the candle outline maybe we don't want an outline of the candle and i'm going to show you how this drastically changes the look we can set this to transparent then what I'll simply do is click apply. Now you can see, you can see a lot more distinguished between the green and the red. And you might say, well, Mike, these wicks are a little bit overpowering right here where it says candle wick. We can change this. I usually put mine to some type of gray. We'll go ahead and we'll do a dim gray right there. And now we can see that the wicks are not so overpowering. However, if you do want the wicks brighter then you're more than welcome to use any color now something else that you might see is the candle width so you might say well the candle width is too skinny well right down here where it says width we can simply let's go ahead and we'll say we'll bump it up to six now you may look at your chart and say you know what i think the candles are a little bit too thin i want to see my candles be a little bit thicker so right here where it says bar width right now we're at three let's go ahead and we're just going to go to 15 just to show you that's a little bit exaggerated right a little bit too large for my liking but let's say we want to go to maybe like a six so again this is where you would adjust the candle width on your chart now, if you want to change the color of the candles, maybe for an up candle, you want to see a blue color. We can simply go for up candle, change it to blue, and maybe for a down candle, you want to make it white. Boom, now you got blue and white. I'm sorry if this is hard on your eyes, but I just want to you know, compare and contrast and show you that there's a lot of different things that we can essentially customize. Now, if you're wondering, how do you get an indicator on your chart? There's a couple different ways. One, we can right click on the chart, go to indicator, and then we can scroll down to some of the indicators. Maybe you want to put Bollinger Bands on your chart. Just double click it, make sure it comes over to the right hand side, click apply. Now we got Bollinger Bands on our chart. Now, if you want to change the color of the bands right over here, as long as under configure Bollinger Bands is highlighted, we can scroll right down here and this says color and this is talking about the upper band. I can go ahead and make, maybe I want the upper band white. Boom, now it's white. If I want to make it thicker, let's say I'll go ahead and make that a five. So you kind of get the drift on that. Very easy concept to understand. Now, I want to share with you guys a time saving hack real quick. And let's say that we're on a four range chart at the moment. What is a very quick way that we can simply go to a five minute chart? As long as your chart is active, we can simply hit the five button, the letter M and just hit enter. Boom, five minute chart. Let's say that we want a five range chart. Just simply click, just simply type the number five, click R, boom, hit enter. Now we have a five range chart. What if we want a 200 tick chart? Just simply type the number 200, then type the letter T, click enter, boom. Now we have a 200 tick chart. So there's multiple ways in which we can cycle through these charts. Now, what about if you have different setups per chart? Let's say a five minute chart, you use maybe the MACD and certain moving averages. And then maybe on a 30 minute chart, maybe use volume profile. Well, you can also go ahead and set up templates. And if you'd like to learn how to set up templates, watch this video right here.